Savannah, Georgia is a city steeped in history and southern charm. It captivates visitors with its cobblestone streets, antebellum architecture, and moss-draped oaks. I'm Ansel Irving, your brooding, ruggedly handsome narrator with a weakness for whiskey and danger. In this video, join us on a food tour in which we sample the best that Savannah's National Historic Landmark District has to offer, while also sharing tidbits of its rich historical tapestry. Founded in 1733, Savannah boasts a rich heritage evident in its well-preserved squares and 13 unique historic districts. The city's unique layout, with parks and squares interspersed, creates an inviting atmosphere, perfect for leisurely strolls. Our food tour begins at Savannah Taste Experience, which houses a charming gift shop, too. We recommend booking your experience online in advance, but you can join a tour on the day of if there are free spots available. The back of the store features a lounge area where you'll meet the other members of your party, as well as your guide. First up is a pork belly donut slider. Normally, you can find it at the Ordinary Pub, a relaxed haunt that serves choice bar food and weekend brunch. This sweet and savory creation was featured on Food Network's Burgers, Brew and Q. It may be tempting to eat half a dozen of these tantalizing treats, like they're your favorite jalapeno poppers, but it's always smart to conserve room for what's to come. Savannah features 22 squares, many of which possess cultural or historical significance. At Ellis Square, you'll encounter a life-sized statue of Johnny Mercer, a native son who achieved acclaim as a lyricist, songwriter, singer, and record executive. One of his best-known songs is the classic Moon River. Please don't sing it out loud, unless you hate your husband. Next up on the food tour is The Little Crown by Pie Society. They offer English baked goods in addition to ales, wine, and liquor. But we were there to try pasties. They're about the size of an egg roll, steaming hot, and filled with seasoned ground pork sausage meat. As I told my eight-year-old son, Tor, meat maketh the man. One block over is Franklin Square, which features a memorial honoring more than 500 Haitian recruits who fought against the British Army during the Siege of Savannah in 1779. Twelve-year-old slave Aw-Hri Christoph, who served as a drummer boy, would later become the King of Haiti. I'm not so sure about your French pronunciations. I'm not French, but I kiss my wife that way. The Plant Riverside District is the city's premier riverfront entertainment center. One stop we highly recommend is the lobby of the Marriott, where you'll find restaurants, art galleries, and oddities, like this life-sized chrome-dipped dinosaur. It's almost as big as my Great Dane. At the nearby Alida Hotel, discover Rhett, a hip eatery with southern comfort food, coffee, and cocktails. If you like seafood, try the she crab soup. She refers to female crabs. Their flavorful orange roe is supposed to add a special flavor that he crab soup lacks. Either way, the soup is rich and creamy. So creamy, it sticks to my mustache. Don't you like my beard? How about my sweater? It's made from my beard hair. River Street, along the Savannah River, obviously, bustles with more shops, restaurants, and activities, like live music, although you can find live music just about anywhere in the city. Did you know that Savannah has the fourth busiest container port in the country? And on the opposite side of Talmadge Memorial Bridge sits South Carolina. By 2025, the bridge is going to be raised 20 feet to accommodate even larger container ships. People need their Amazon packages as badly as I need my beard trims. The oldest and largest square in Savannah is Johnson Square, where you'll see the monument dedicated to Major General Nathaniel Green, a hero of the revolution. Johnson Square was laid out in 1733, the same year as the city's founding, and named after Robert Johnson, the royal governor of South Carolina, due to his help in growing the colony. And by the way, if you want to visit the square featured in the movie Forrest Gump, that's Chippewa Square. You won't be able to visit a Bubba Gump shrimp company in Savannah, however. There are none. Savannah, my colon salutes you. What was once the very first hotel in Savannah is now the Moon River Brewing Company. 
The parmesan-crusted haddock with black-eyed peas is cooked to perfection. Wash it down with Moon River's very own wild, wacky wit beer, a light and exotic Belgian wheat ale. I prefer whiskey myself. Next up, a taste of Argentina. At Mint to be Mojito Bar and Bites, they sell mojitos, obviously, and chicken empanadas with garlic cilantro sauce. The rear of the restaurant actually houses a speakeasy, the Apparition. Check their website for hours before visiting or else you might knock on the secret door and no one answers. Wrapping things up, you can sample a variety of honeys at the Savannah Bee Company. They sell all things honey, including honey cookies and mead, an alcoholic beverage characterized by three ingredients, fermented honey, water, and yeast. But again, I prefer whiskey. From classic Southern comfort food to innovative modern cuisine, Savannah's dining scene is a culinary journey. I've been your dashing narrator, Ansel Irving, or AI for short. Thanks for joining us on this tour, and we'll see you when we see you, unless you subscribe. <coughs>